Goldfree's entertainment facilities expand into a wider sphere with a new Mabel Rain drive-in theater, the largest in Southern Africa. From over a thousand cars, there's a perfect view of the giant screen, 126 feet wide and 54 feet high. Superb equipment accounts for perfect projection and sound, which is piped into the cars free of the distraction of audience reaction. What's up guys? I've made it to an abandoned movie, like outdoor movie theater or drive-in movie theater that hasn't been like used in many, many years. This is super cool because you don't really see too many of these around anymore. And like it is so old that the ground is overgrown, like the 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 um the projector, um the screens are starting to fall off, like where they project the movies and films. Which so it's pretty cool to see this. And it really is like quite a bit of history right here. Here's what used to be some of the old screens where they would actually project the movie to. Pretty raw and pretty old. I mean, this at least has to have been abandoned for 15 to 20 years because, I mean, these are literally trees growing up into here. And there would have been nothing on here. They would, like, put this in the car and I believe attach this so they could actually hear on the radio. I mean, I'm not 100% sure because I've never... I mean, I've been to a um, movie theater. Not a movie theater, but a... Uh, a drive-in theater, but I've never, like, been to one like this before. See, this is the parking lot, and it's definitely been overgrown, so you can barely sit there anymore. Like, if you look at it, I'll show you. It's kind of lumpy now. You have a deeper parking lot back here where you could have seating. The only reason I'm not going into that building is because there appears to be a wasp's nest, and I do not want to get stung a thousand times. But it looks like there used to be an old arcade game in here. Looks like they have some sort of stage thing going on over there so you could have like some sort of performance maybe for facing this way because back here you see we have the movie screens right there pretty cool looks like there was concession stands and uh um popcorn and stuff like that i'm not getting too close because there's a wasp right up there and i do not want to get stung and now before the next show starts, let's enjoy an intermission. You'll find our snack bar chock full of good things to eat and drink. Tasty, tempting hot dogs, thirst-quenching soft drinks, fresh, crunchy popcorn, a complete assortment of delicious candy, and a full line of cigarettes. You've plenty of time, so visit the snack bar now. A tasty treat will double your enjoyment of the show. For your convenience, we shall keep you informed of the remaining intermission time. Three minutes before the next show starts. This one does appear to be a slightly more intact than the rest of them. Here's the old ticket booth right here. Looks like it's wasp infested, so I'm gonna get out of here. This area is wasp infested. 
just, you know, light there to, to light the entire way up. It is really cool to see this. This is like something reminiscent of like the 50s and like even the 60s and 70s. I mean, and to see this like in the history behind it, the Catskill Mountains sadly have become mostly like this, as you can see, abandoned and left behind. You know, I'm gonna keep on filming this area and many, many more like locations like this. So if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe because I mean, my channel's just gonna keep on getting bigger and bigger and I'm working to get better at my filming skills. This right here used to just be straight up parking lot. Like flat, flat parking lot. Now it's probably about two or three feet on a level. You have one of the old signs right there for that. Uh, maybe showing like what movies they would be playing next. That's pretty cool. Looks like it was 97 that was abandoned last. In 1949, Liberty, one of the hotel capitals of the USA, opened a drive-in movie theater that featured three movie screens. Tickets were originally priced at only 60 cents per car, and it soon became a popular attraction for many of the hotel guests in their surrounding areas. Cars would park near these speakers, which enabled the occupants of the car to close their windows and put the device in their car for the movie sound. Sadly, in 1997, the theater closed for good from lack of business, which actually hit the entire area following the fall of the Borscht Belt. Many of the drive-in movie theaters in the world actually closed from lack of business, as people were beginning to seek alternate routes of entertainment. Today, however, with COVID-19 hitting the world, many drive-in theaters have actually made a return. An entire family can now watch a movie for a discounted rate while all being distanced from the people around them. And another thing that is cool, it is also looking like these theaters are here to stay. Unfortunately for this movie theater that we visited, there is almost no hope as it is way too decayed for any repairs.